Wilkinson Renwick Marsh Forest Reserve in DeKalb County, Illinois is located on the west side of Annie Glidden Road, approximately a half mile north of the intersection with Illinois State Route 64. The preserve is approximately five miles north of the city of DeKalb. Uh, it features a marsh. It's one of the very few undisturbed marshes remaining in the Grand Prairie section uh, in DeKalb County. It is a large prairie pothole which was large enough to escape being tiled and converted to farmland. Emergent native vegetation surrounding an area of open water is predominantly two species of cattails with sandbar willow along the margins of the open water. It provides resting habitat for migrating waterfowl and over 115 species of birds have been documented in this area. The nature preserve also includes an ongoing prairie restoration bordering Annie Glidden Road. A variety of field research has been conducted at this site over the past several years by staff and students at Northern Illinois University and Kishwaukee College. The train depot was here from the late 1800s to the 1940s as a switching station and passenger and baggage exchange for trains traveling in all directions. This was once the junction of the Chicago Great Western Railroad and the Chicago, Iowa, and Minnesota Railroad. Ranging from moist prairie depressions of less than an acre to flooded Florida grasslands stretching for hundreds of square miles, wetlands appear in every environment of the continental United States. Rivaling tropical rainforests and productivity, wetlands have been exploited and diminished by development. In the past 200 years, more than half the wetlands in the lower 48 states have been drained, paved, filled, or otherwise lost, most to agriculture. More than 90% of Illinois marshes have been drained. Can the nation afford to lose any more of a prime natural resource? Wildlife and fish habitat, flood control, clean water, and beauty. These are the virtues of the wetlands. Margaret Fuller, on the other hand, enjoyed her wagon ride from Chicago to Oregon, Illinois in 1843. She found the flowers beautiful and loved the park-like appearance of the intermittent groves. These are the gardens of the desert, these the unshorn fields, boundless and beautiful, for which the speech of England has no name, the prairies. I behold them for the first, and my heart swells while the dilated sight takes in the encircling vastness. Lo, they stretch in airy undulations far away. Pure color everywhere, a gust of wind sweeping across the plain threw into life waves of yellow and blue and green. Now and then a dead black wave would race over the scene, a cloud's gliding shadow.